Starting in my right bookcase at the top. I won't go through covers because I'm pretty sure you've seen them all already. Uh, I have number one and number two in the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Omnibus. And then Death Comes to Pemberley by P.D. James. I have Bloodbound and Moon Called by Patricia Biggs. Briggs, even. Then I have six novels by Jodie Picoult. Picoult? I don't know. My favourite being The Pact. That's a brilliant novel. And then I have the ever famous Millennium Trilogy. I won't name them as you can obviously read. And then down a shelf I have 1 through 12. No, 14 even. <laughs> In the Morganville Vampire series by Rachel Kane. And then I have 1 through 4 in the Faith Sanders trilogy, although I don't think they're in the right order, by Rachel Vincent. Going down a shelf, this is one of my favourite shelves. I have my hardback copy of The Host and then my battered paperback copy by Stephanie Meyer. And then I have the Hunger Games trilogy. And then the first and the second in the Blood of Eden series by Julie Kagawa. I love those books. And then Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Night School by CJ Doherty. Doherty? I don't know. And then Forsaken and Forbidden by... Uh, I don't know. Yana? Jaina? I don't know. Oliver? And then I have books 1 through 10. 1, 2, 3, 4... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, 10. In the Lords of the Underworld series by Gina Showalter. I love this series. Notice the small books though. Why did they have to change the last ones? Hate that. Down another shelf. I have... Um, I think it's 1, 2 and 4 I think I have. In the Drake Chronicles. Notice I have 2 Bleeding Heart copies. I Am Number 4 by Pitika Law, Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, uh, 1 through 4 in the Iron Fae series by Julie Kagawa, The Raven Boys by Maggie Stevarta, Beauty Awakened by Gina Showalter, Eve by Anna Carey, uh, A Big D for my name, and then I have 1, 2, 3 and 4 in the Beautiful Creatures series. My number one has the movie cover, which I hate, but it was cheap. And there you go. First and second in the Gone series by Michael Grant. The Taker by Alma Katsu. Uh, I think that's how you say it. And then I think I have one, two and four, I think. In... I can't remember what this series is called by... Larissa Iron and the one volume one and volume two bind up of the Fallen series by can anybody say that name? Thomas Schnigowski Schnigowski I think that's as good as bet as anyone's Game Board of the Gods by Rochelle Mead Beauty by Robin McKinney McKinley that's a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, which is quite cute. The first and third in Rochelle Mead's Bloodline series. And then I have the first, uh, third and fourth, I think. Or maybe first, second and fourth in the Lux series by Anna Goberson. Goberson? Goberson? God of Godberson? I don't know. Pure by Juliana Baggett and then I have English Grammar for the Utterly Confused. I won't show you this shelf because these are ones I will not read. Oh, I have a little dictionary down there and a French dictionary also. Moving on to my first of my small shelves. I have one to nine, I think, in the House of Night series by PC and Kristen Cast. The first three in 
the Georgia Kincaid series by Rochelle Mead. I have one, two and three in the Hush Hush series by Becca Fitzpatrick. This is my little Harry Potter section. First two are not in hardback and then the rest are. And then I have the cute Quidditch through the ages. Moving on. I have the second one in the uh, Lost Angel series. That was only like a pound, so I picked it up. Even though I didn't have the second one. And then I have A Touch of Crimson and A Hunger So Wild. I think they're the wrong way round by Sylvia Day. The first and second in the Noughts and Crosses series. They're the wrong way round too. By Mallory Blackman. And then I have half my Lord of the Rings series, and the other half being on that bookcase, just so it's symmetrical. And down I have a hardback cover of Tempest by Julie Cross. First, second and third in the... Actually, I don't know what this series is called. The Dark Heart series, I suppose. Let's just go with that. By Lee Monroe. Blood and Ice by Robert Mazzello. I don't know. The Knife of Never Letting Go, the first one in the Chaos Walking series by Patrick Ness. I haven't actually read that one yet, I'm really looking forward to it. One to six in the Immortal series, couldn't quite name it there, by Alison Noel. Noel? Noel, I think. And then I have Everlasting and Evercrossed. Oh, focus, camera, focus. There we go, by Elizabeth Chandler, I think I'm missing the first one, I don't know, you guys can tell me all the ones I'm missing in the series I have, that would be very lovely of you if you did. And then I have Clock A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess, Bur Burgess? I don't know how to say any of these names, uh, volume 3 in the first no, in the last vampire series. This volume being called First. Notice how I have almost no series in their proper order. And then I have 1 to 10 in the Vampire Diary series. This is in my next small shelf. I won't be carrying on with this series because these three are written by a ghostwriter and so are the next three in this series and I really didn't like them I didn't think they were anything like anything as good as these ones shame on you uh, then I have the first and second in Anne Rice's Vampire Chronicle series I'm halfway through this one I think yes uh, my little jar and then I have Shiver Linger and Forever in the Mercy Falls Oh, I can't remember. Series by Maggie Stevarter. Down a shelf, I have my hardback copies of Twilight. You can all read, I know you all know what they're called anyway. And then I have Unearthly and Hallowed by Cynthia Hand. I'm excited to read that series. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. And I have The Angel Experiment in the Maximum Ride series by James Patterson. I haven't read any of these. The Last Four Things and The Left Hand of God by Paul Hoffman. My other two Lord of the Rings series. Down a shelf. I think I have number one and then I think it's number eight and nine. Or maybe even nine and ten in this series by Cresley Cole. Can't name the series now off the top of my head. One of them things you know, but when you need to know it, you don't remember. A Hunger Like No Other, Demon of the Dark, and Dreams of a Dark Warrior. And then I have the first one in George R. R. Martin's Song of Ice and Fire series, A Game of Thrones. Uh, and then I have the Soul Screamers series by Rachel Vincent. I think I have one, two, three, and I think I'm missing four. And then I think I've got five and six, possibly. 
and then over to the last corner in the small one I have Bone Shaker by Cherie would you say that Cherie? Sherry? Priest? anyway and then Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins and then book one and then book three oh we're focusing there you go in the beautiful dead series so I have Jonas and Summer by Eden Maguire alright let's shoot on up to the top of my last one my tall one I have the very soppy section of Nicholas Sparks The Notebook, The Choice, The Last Song, Dear John and Safe Haven uh, I have the first one in the Fifty Shades series I think that's what they're called, I don't know I haven't read it, I don't particularly want to read porn if I'm honest so I doubt I'll ever, ever read it Anyway, moving on Time Traveller's Wife by Audrey Niffen Oh, um, Niffenager <laughs> That's embarrassing Rock Chicks by Ronnie Cooper The first two in the Pretty Little Liars series by Sarah Shepard So that's Pretty Little Liars and Flawless The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold The Summoning by Kelly Keeley Armstrong Wow, I really need to sharpen up my skills on authors' names. I can't remember what this series is called. It's either The Darkest Powers or something like that. And then I have Dream Eaters and the Dark Volume by G.W. Dalaquist. Interesting. The Help by Catherine Stocker. Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare Night World Volume 1 and Volume 3 by LJ Smith Second one I am missing Down a Shelf This is my little True Blood section or Southern Vampire Mysteries or something like that the Sookie Stackhouse novels So I have the small companion and 1 through to 11 I think I have 12 altogether. You can obviously read, so I won't name them all. And then I have the Intertwined series by Gina Showalter. I love this series so far, although I'm only on the second one, so I can't really conclude on how much I liked it. But the first one I really, really loved, so anyway. My little Harry Potter stuff from the studio tour I went on. It's my little classic section with Dracula. I have The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Wuthering Heights, Sense and Sensibility, and The Three Musketeers. It's so my second favourite shelf. Start at this side. I have the Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 8 comics. 1 through 8. I haven't started Season 9 yet. I have Wither and Fever. Fever, even by Lauren Di Stefano or Di Stefano. I think it's Di Stefano actually. Uh, and look at the size difference. What is that? What's all that about? Why is it so big? That's what I get for trying to get it cheap. But I actually love, 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 love this series. I can't wait to get the third one so I can finally finish this series. I love it. I really do recommend people trying to check it out. It's amazing. And then I'm pretty sure you all know what these are, although I know a lot of other people have the different covers. But I bought the first one in the red and then decided to buy the rest in the red too. So this is the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Last Sacrifice, and Spirit Round. These are the wrong way around, I think. Possibly my favourite book of all time, Angel Fall by Susan E. E. Susan E. I love this book. I am getting the second one for Christmas. I can't wait to read it. 
And then I have the Raised by Wolves trilogy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I loved that series. I picked this one up for like, I think it was like 80p in the charity shop. I hadn't really read anything else about it. I didn't know what it was really about except from, from the back cover. And I was like, oh, that sounds okay, I'll get it. And I was like blown away. So I bought the rest of the series like that evening and like polished off the series and I think it was like a weekend. It was so awesome. And then I have the Guild Hunter series by Malini Singh. I do apologise if I am pronouncing all these authors' names wrong. Very, very bad of me. I have two copies of Angel Blood. Notice three being small, and then these two and that one. A normal size. How very frustrating. So we have Angel Blood, Archangel's Kiss, Archangel's Consort, Archangel's Blade, and Archangel's Store. Me likey this series. And then we have Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter. Looking for Alaska by John Green. Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. Chbosky? Oh, uh, no, that do. And then I have Hunger and Rage in a series called, I think it's called Riders of the Apocalypse. I can't quite remember. Small books, but I think they're brilliant about the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Each book is about each rider. Can't wait to get the next ones. These are by Jackie Morse Moreth. Oh, I don't know. Kessler. I should be ashamed of myself. Indeed I am. In this corner, I have one to four in the, uh, my mind just went blank, but I know what they're called. They're the Mortal Instruments series, obviously. How could I ever forget them? I've only read these two. And I actually didn't think they were that great. But I will read them, the rest of them eventually, when I can be bothered. <laughs> anyway, I have Siren by Tracy Rayburn. Rayburn. Maybe if you could guess which one is me. Dun dun dun! Carrier of the Mark by somebody Fallon. I don't know. I can't bother to get it out. Matched by Ali Condi. Condal? Condi? Oh, whatever. Insatiable by Meg Cabot. And then I have one to four in Lauren Kate's Fallen series. Notice again, these three are really big. And the first one is normal. 0.4 by Mike Lancaster. Abandoned by Meg Cabot. And then I have, I think it's one, two and four. Or maybe one, three and four. In the... Um, Wicked Lovely series by Melissa Ma. Going down to our last shelf, I have my Guitar for Dummies, the Abraham Lincoln the Vampire Hunter by Seth Graham Smith, uh, second, third and fourth in Claudia Gray's Evernight series. I don't know why I don't have the first one. I don't know. And then I have Dawn of the Dreadfuls and Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Moving along, oh, I made this yesterday. Cute little sparkly grey pot. I have White Horse by Alex Adams. Red Riding Hood, that's the novel of the movie by that, then people. <laughs> and then I have the second and the fourth, I think, in J.R. Ward's. Um, Fallen Angels, a novel of the Fallen Angels, and then I have the first, and then maybe seventh and eighth, maybe I don't know, in J.R. Wood's Black Dagger Brotherhood, and then I have The Dark Heroine by Abigail Gibbs, and then Rachel Kane's Red Letter Day novels, Devil's Bargain, and Devil's Jew. So, thank you for bearing with my awful English voice. If you are American, if you're English, then 
you're probably sick of me anyway. Thank you for watching. If you guys want, I can maybe even do a room view for you. Let me know, guys. See you later. Bye.